Now, News 3 Sports with Megan Plain. And NFL teams were introduced to their newest members, welcoming their latest additions to town with rookie minicamps. There are a handful of 757 products participating, including Hampton native and Bears rookie receiver Daz Newsom, who shines not just on the field, but with his personality as well. Fans love the guy after watching his rookie minicamp press conference, which has a lot to do with food, all stemming from this tweet right here. New to the Chicago area, Newsom looks for food wrecks on Twitter, soliciting help from Bears Nation. And he's also extremely disappointed to learn that there is no Waffle House in the area. And, you know, it's crazy they don't got no Waffle House down here. No, nah, no, nah, we ain't got no Waffle House. Yeah, yeah, I thought Waffle House was global. Japanese steakhouses where they cook it in front of you? Oh, yeah, 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 those are my spots right there. Portillo's and get yourself a beef sandwich. Portillo's, okay, I heard that multiple times. You gotta go to Lou Malnati's. Lou, okay, I heard that one before too. Were you a timeout guy in Chapel Hill? I used to get, the, 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 I used to get like two pieces of chicken. I get two thighs. I get either the, the potato salad or the macaroni and cheese, or I get the macaroni and cheese and mashed potatoes and gravy. Despite not having a Waffle House around, Newsom does assure everyone on Twitter that he had a great first week in Chicago. Now, as a Californian on the East Coast, I can feel his pain, only it has to do with in and out But don't worry, buddy, it gets better over time. Newsom's Bears draft class, it also includes former Ohio State quarterback and first-round pick Justin Fields, who Newsom got a chance to work out with during minicamp, and he tells us what he likes about their connection. Really just knowing that every time I win deep that it's a chance I might get it because for one, I see, I see he's a guy that's looking downfield and he's definitely putting it right on the money. Chesapeake's Patrick Jones, who was drafted by Minnesota in the third round, takes part in Vikings rookie minicamp this weekend. During his 2020 season at Pitt, Jones led the ACC in sacks. So at camp, he's asked about all the moves he has as a pass rusher and says it all comes down to time spent watching film in college, which was, get this, Five hours of film a day. I probably watch two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, an hour at the practice. Probably about five hours a day, so I'm watching film. So anywhere from like, probably like 20, 25 hours a week. I watch a lot of film and I'll go out there and just try those different moves. And then I would, I would literally probably try like a different move every week of the season. And then I'll just find whichever moves work best for me. Jones will be in the mix for a starting defensive end spot come training camp, a battle that will also include fellow 757 product Jalen 